<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, another Frilly Chi Friday, right? Fabulous, beautiful, like summer, it's summer again. You guys, I got my tank top on. It's probably like the last weekend we'll be able to do this, right? So I don't know. But yeah, so hopefully you guys all had a good week, a good couple of weeks. I know I was off. Um, what did I even do last weekend? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'm totally drawing a blank. But there was some reason why I didn't do Facebook Live. It'll come to me at some point. <laughs> Isn't that awful? What did I do? Anyway, so yeah, you guys, well, we have lots of fun stuff to share with you today. Um, we are going to be playing with the Harvest Meadow um, Designer Series paper. I have it. It's all pulled apart, so I thought I would just kind of show you guys. Hey, Teresa. Hello. Thanks for watching today. Um <clears throat> Excuse me, I have like a frog in my throat. This is the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. Really beautiful, kind of soft, subtle color palette and patterns in the Designer Series paper. And I have to tell you, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I kind of wasn't really sure what I thought of it. So it includes, um, let's see, we've got Calypso Coral, Bumblebee, Soft Succulent, Misty Moonlight, and Crumb Cake. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, colors in the Designer Series paper. But like I said, it's really kind of soft, muted tones. And I guess sometimes I'm drawn to maybe like the deeper colors in fall. And so I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. But I've had a chance to play with it and I've gotten some cards I'm gonna share with you guys too. And it is just a gorgeous pack of Designer series paper really just like I said kind of a beautiful like subtle color palette for fall okay and then we're actually also using because I've been wanting to I got this stamp set quite a while ago this is the create with friends stamp set so you can kind of build your own sentiments and I love like that big beautiful cursive writing and then the block writing and kind of putting those two fonts together. So we're gonna be playing with this stamp set as well. So I kind of combined the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper and the Create With Friends stamp set. Sharon, good morning, hello. Beautiful, fabulous morning here in Michigan anyway. Hopefully it is wherever um, you all are today as well. Um, so let's see, what else? I gotta grab my notes. I moved them way far away and I can't see what I'm doing now. Um, <clears throat> Oh, we had our customer appreciation event. We did that um, on Wednesday. That's probably why my brain is fried and I can't even think about like last week um, because I had um, lots to do to prep for that customer appreciation event that we had on Wednesday. So that was a local event that I did here at the church where I'm holding my classes now. And I have to tell you, because in the, in the past, I've always done those events, obviously, at the stamp studio downtown. And um, parking can be a little bit difficult, you know, on Main Street right downtown. Town. Um, and then the size of my space always stressed me out a little bit because um, it was like fun, bright, beautiful, bold colors, but there just wasn't a lot of room to move in there. And so when we get like a whole gob of people, I would be like really worried that people weren't comfortable, you know, because they're having to like move sideways, like between each other and stuff. So, and I loved that space. So, I mean, I loved being downtown. I love the idea of, you know, just walking up and opening the door and coming on into class. Like there's so much good about being downtown and so I miss that part of like being downtown but I have to tell you that out at the new space at the um hello Brenda welcome thanks for joining us from Arizona it's early for you my dad and his wife are out in Arizona too what is it like 9 30 for you guys so yeah I'm glad you can join us where are you in Arizona I have to ask um, my dad and his wife have a house in Green Valley Arizona so it's south of Tucson like 45 minutes to to Megalis down to the Mexican border. Um, so yeah, hello Kay, thanks guys for popping on and hanging out with me. So I totally lost my train of thought. We're talking about customer appreciation. Oh, and just how nice it was. We have this space that I have is, it's like big, wide open, lots of tables, lots of chairs, lots of room to spread out. You know, so people are still, you know, there's a lot of like issues with COVID. Oh, 8.30 in Mesa. Oh, you guys, I thought the, Hmm. Now I'm maybe it's because of the time change. Is that what it is? I get confused because I know sometimes we're three hours difference and sometimes we're two hours. So, okay, <laughs> that must be the case then if it's only 830 for you right now. Uh, yeah, so it must be when we do our like fall time change, you guys don't do that. And then we're only two hours apart. So, okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> All right. So yeah, well, glad. Thank, thanks for clarifying that for me. So yeah, like I've been saying, right? 
customer appreciation event. Lots of room to spread out. We had, I'm gonna show you guys, we did a couple of cute make and takes. I made a little treat for everybody. Um, we did the buy one, get one free event. I love to do that. It's a great way, especially right now with celebration, right? You guys know that too. We have what, less than two weeks left of celebration. So make sure if you have not gotten everything that you wanted out of the celebration brochure, you still have a couple of weeks left to get your orders and freebies with $50 orders. And then there are a couple of um, freebies with a $100 order. But if you put in like a big order, um, yes, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> I was somehow I was thinking it was the opposite, Brenda. I don't know. So yeah, flaky blonde moment. I have a lot of those. Um, you know, when I can sit and really think, there's something about being on Facebook Live where I kind of lose my brain too. So <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Thanks for hanging out. Like, yes, welcome, welcome. So yeah, um, like I was saying, celebration. Make sure you get whatever you want out of here. It's funny because now I'm kind of confused because last night I was putting orders in from the customer appreciation event and I couldn't order the Be Dazzling specialty paper. And then I went, because I was wanting to make sure that I could tell you guys on Facebook Live, because um, I didn't think it was available any longer. Well, or it, yesterday when I looked on our inventory report, it said, you know, it was going to be available, but not until November. Well, celebration ends at the end of this month. So I was trying to figure out how that was gonna work. And then I popped back on this morning and now it's not even on there. And I didn't have a chance to call Stampin' Up. So I'm just gonna say there's a chance that you cannot get the Be Dazzling specialty paper, which is that first um, sparkly, beautiful paper in the catalog, that that might not be an option for you. But there are lots of other great options in the celebration brochure, like the little penguin paper. Now, who knows, of course, as soon as I um, start telling you, you know, that the penguin paper is gonna sell out too. So maybe that's another reason to make sure to get your orders in as quickly as possible, um, because they do say that, that, you know, these items become like while supplies last. Um, <clears throat> we have, you know, had, the paper has been a super popular. Um, so yeah, let's see, what do we got here? Um, Brenda's saying all is good. <laughs> Good, okay, so you're with me, we're on the same page. Okay, yes, yes, and Sharon is reminding, yes, that we, um, we, not we, not me, but Sharon and some of the other gals in my team actually are gonna be participating in a craft and vendor fair at her church tomorrow, which is the Peace Lutheran Church. It's at 325 East Warwick Drive. That's where I hold my classes because Sharon was so gracious to help get me into um, being able to use that space for classes. So she's gonna be there. A bunch of other vendors are gonna be there too, a bunch of other crafters. Um, so lots of good handmade goods and I think goodies too. I think it's a bake sale also. So go check that out. I don't have the hours. Maybe Sharon will post them right on here. I know that we've shared it. I think on our Facebook group, we shared it. Um, if not, Sharon, feel free to do that. Um, so yeah, go check that out tomorrow. Um, that'll be fun uh, to, yeah, I think it's supposed to be another nice day tomorrow too. So that'll be great, right? So yeah. So like I said, get your eight, eight to four. Sharon says the craft and vendor fair is eight to four tomorrow. Okay. So go check that out. It's right here in Alma. Um, Again, get your celebration choices while you can. Things are gonna start selling out, I'm sure. So don't be that loser, right, who wishes they would have gotten some, sorry, is that mean? <laughs> Just don't, don't be that gal, right, that doesn't get what she wants. Oh, oh, there's a big like German Shepherd um, puppy out here. Okay, he's on a leash. I thought maybe he was, um, just running around. Okay, that's good. So he's on a leash, so he's not going to get hurt because this is kind of a busy street here. So, okay. All right. Sorry, distraction like another <laughs> squirrel. I mean, um, <laughs> dog moment, right? Okay. Yeah. Sharon's like eight o'clock with like one of those funny, silly faces. Yeah, I know. Eight o'clock on a Saturday. Why? Why would you do that? I think nine o'clock's a better start time. I agree, Sharon. Well, good luck with that. You won't see me there at eight o'clock, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. Um, I think I'll show you guys that in a sec. I was gonna, yeah, it'll be better when I flip the camera down to be able to show you that. So let's do our first drawing. Are you guys ready to do that? We are gonna draw for, these are, <clears throat> the elegant faceted gems, right? The beautiful love. This dog is really distracting me. He's this big, beautiful um, German Shepherd. Oh, 
Okay, now he's tied up out there, so he's probably gonna be out there all <laughs> the whole time. Okay, that'll be great. Now I'm gonna be like super distracted. Okay, I'm gonna just try not to look. Uh, anyway, okay, so we're gonna give away the elegant faceted gems. Um, <laughs> Sharon, I asked where where I was when that decision was made. She's talking about the 8 a.m. start time. Clearly, you were not there, Sharon, because I'm sure you would have piped up and said, 9 o'clock is early enough. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody's different, right? Some people are like morning people and they're ready to just get at it, and Sharon and I are not quite like that. So, yeah, 9 o'clock would be a good start time for us. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh, that puppy's really, really happy, though. <laughs> okay. So how do you get your name in this drawing, right? You shared the Facebook Live video or you signed up for my email list. Your name is in here. So, all right, we're tossing the names around. We're gonna give away the beautiful, elegant, faceted gems. They're just so sparkly, that faceted, that word. That's usually a good word. It means they kind of look like diamonds or crystals or something. Lots of little edges to them, so they're super sparkly. Okay, so here we go. I have one name in my... Ooh, Janice Spry. Congratulations, Janice. I think maybe she was, and I'm trying to remember because this is a newer name for me. I think maybe she signed up for my email list. I'm gonna have to go back and check. But Janice, if I do not have your um, mailing address, send me that. If you'd send me Facebook Messenger or email that to me and I will get these elegant faceted gems mailed out to you. So congratulations, Miss Janice. All right. We gotta dump those out and get the other names in for the other drawing. Okay, so next, on our next Facebook Live, we're gonna give away the beautiful pearls, a packet of pearls. These are like a basic staple item. I always have like three or four packs of these on hand because I love pearls, especially like around the holiday time, which we are coming up to that time, right? When you're gonna be maybe starting to make your holiday cards, right? Might as well start now, right? Get what you want to make your holiday cards like right now in September because then you can get free celebration stuff as well. Maybe you even get some of that cute paper um, and you can use that for making your holiday cards and then you can add some pearls to it as well if you win the pearls on our next Facebook Live, right? So share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list. Um, the um, the link to sign up for my email list is always in the details above this Facebook Live video after we get it uploaded this afternoon, okay? All right, so that's what we'll draw for on our next Facebook Live. So you guys, we have another new team member to welcome to the Inkspired Stampers group. Miss Kay Jacoby got the starter kit. She's been talking about it actually kind of on and off for I think years really. She's been trying to decide if she wanted to do that or not. So she finally took the plunge. I think that whole, right, the awesome deal of being able to get a free bundle from the holiday catalog along with $125 in product and she only paid $99 plus sales tax so it was such an awesome deal I keep telling you guys this right if you get the most expensive um, bundle in the holiday catalog it's like getting $110 for free so it's like basically like getting half off of everything that you order because you only pay $99 plus sales tax. So it doesn't even come to $110 with your sales tax, right? So such a great deal. So congratulations, Kay, and welcome to our group. Sharon is saying a lovely welcome as well. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm just super excited that she finally took the plunge and decided to do that. Plus now, every time she puts an order in, it was so cute because she sent me a message. She says, um, even the new die cutting and embossing machine, I can get 20% off of that when I order. I'm like, yes, every single thing that you order, like whatever, it doesn't matter what the price is, that's probably the most expensive thing we have in the catalog, right? You get 20% off of that and everything else you order once you get the starter kit. So it's such a great deal. Um, yeah, and then you're part of our expert stampers team, which is pretty fun too. So if you have any questions, let me know. You've got a couple weeks left, right, until the end of sale celebration as well. So September 30th is the last day to get that starter kit deal also. So love to get you signed up and be a part of our group as well. Um, Sharon is one of our team members and she is very gracious in her welcoming and as well as many, many other team members are too. We have a separate Facebook group also um, that you can participate in. Um, so hey, Nikki, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning, right out in Utah. It's still morning for you as well. It's still technically morning around here too. Yes. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do now? 
Um, basically, let's see, let's do our next drawing. So kind of a quick reminder, especially if you haven't been on Facebook Live or just, uh, Lisa, hello, um, need a little update on how things work around here, right? So if you put an online order in of just at least $30, anytime between our last Facebook Live and went this past Wednesday at midnight, you are automatically gonna get both of these cards sent to you as a thank you for your order. These were the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Hey, Don. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. So beautiful love. So here are great examples of cards that you could make some holiday cards, right? So if you missed last face last our last Facebook Live, excuse me, um, you can scroll back and see that. Um, it's the last one and it references this bundle that I am totally blanking out on the name of maybe Christmas season. <laughs> Not even sure. Anyway, um, but also at my blog, gatheringinspiration.com are all the details on how to make these cards too. Lisa in Wisconsin, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yes. Um, okay, so yeah, if you put an order in, $30 minimum, you get both of these cards as a thank you. Your name is also in the drawing to win the Delicate Dahlia stamp set, which this is one of this free celebration items that you can't get um, unless you put a $100 order and then you can pick the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. But here today only, your name is in that drawing to win this with just a minimum $30 order. If you bumped your up to order up to $50, which why would you not do that right now, right? You get to pick a free celebration choice. And then you also get to pick from either the September Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or um, the free embellishment for this month, which is, these are called the Brushed Metallic Adhesive Backed Dots. So either one of these you pick for free with your $50 order. And I do have to show you guys because actually this card is my contribution to the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Um, and this is kind of a fun, one of those fun fold where it opens, right? So it's just a piece of thick whisper white cardstock. All the details on how I created this card are in our um, PDF tutorial bundle right here, free with your $50 order. If you're a part of my team, you get that for free every single month as well. So beautiful card, kind of went with that fall theme, but I used that Delicate Dahlia stamp set on that. Can you guys kind of see how that worked? So, all right, let's do our drawing for the Delicate Dahlia stamp set, right? So let's see, we've got some names in here. Monica, I don't know if I said hello to you yet or not. I think you were down in favorite parts of the world for me or the country, right? You were down in Hilton Head and Savannah. I love that area. So hope you had a great time. I think I saw a few of your posts. I need to go back and peek because I haven't been there in a while. So it's always fun to um, see familiar places like that too or see what you were up to down there. Um, okay, so here we go the winner of the delicate dahlia stamp set i have one name in my hand is k it is your lucky day miss k jacoby is the winner of the delicate dahlia stamp set so congratulations k is getting so many good deals right now so k i will skip that stamp set out sent out to you along with the cards that I uh, demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. And anybody else's name who was in the drawing that did not win, obviously, gets those card as a thank you as well. So, all right, um, what are we gonna give away? Where is it? Oh, it's hidden. Okay, so right here. On our next Facebook Live, if you put at least a $30 order in, you are going to get your name in the drawing to win the Sheep Dies, which you can't even really see. I'll just open up. The little celebration brochure. Where are the sheep? They're so cute, right? Aren't they? You could even use like designer series paper. So if you don't have the sheep stamp set, or here's a thought, right? You put your order in, put it in for $50, get the sheep stamp set, then your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the sheep dies as well. That's a good idea, right? Yeah, plus you'll get the cards I'm gonna demonstrate in just a few minutes. Uh, let's see, hello, Monica. Oh yes, we did. I remember meeting you out in Maui. Welcome, thanks for joining us today. And Susan, good morning as well. Everybody's popping on. So thanks guys for spending the morning with me. So yeah, next Facebook Live we will draw for the Sheep Dyes free with just a $30 order through me when you get your um, order and use the host code. I will give you that in just a few minutes. Um, it's also on my blog always at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. Um, okay, I have to just check my notes. I need a quick sip of water too. So one moment here, please, ladies. Mm. Okay. 
<clears throat> I think, are we, I'm always like fluffing my hair. You know, I'm like an 80s girl, right? This like flat hair, really hard for me. I'm always like <laughs> trying to, trying to, you know, give it a little volume, right? I just, I need a little volume on my hair. Um, oh, okay. So real quick, I want to show you guys one more thing. Um, oh, I didn't, did I know I didn't bring it over anyway but so another fun thing um, when we have our team meetings which was a couple of weeks ago um, and I think last time I did Facebook live I felt like I had so much to show you guys so I didn't show you our make and takes from our last face or from our last um, team meeting our inspired stampers team meeting but I thought okay I want to show you guys these before celebration ends because they're just so cute so here we go let me show you guys these and the fun part is they um, feature the penguin designer series paper um, what is it called penguin playmates where's my hmm oh it's like seriously right here <laughs> Susan thank you for sharing I appreciate that um, I think it's called penguin playmates all of a sudden I was like where is my little celebration brochure yeah the penguin playmates designer series paper so free with a $50 order is this paper right and then here's what's fun about it is right then the inside so you can see both sides of the designer series paper so all of the cards are the same layout they just um, feature different pieces of designer series paper so these cards were kind of fun i've got some more fun projects that we're going to be making next tuesday at our next inkspired stampers meeting so i'll share those with you guys um on our next facebook live oh the puppy is bar oh because they're <laughs> The neighborhood kitty cat is here now too. And the German shepherd puppy, he is just wanting to say hello. <laughs> That's funny, okay. So yeah, you guys are gonna get like the, um, yeah, the down low on what's happening at the neighbor's house over here, so. <laughs> oh good, and my prescription is ready at Meyer too, so that text is gonna come in. Okay, so here, sorry, super distracted. Um, they, they also feature a fabulous stamp set in the holiday catalog. What is that one even called? I bet I can find that. Let's see. Oh yeah, good, okay. The Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. This is the stamp set that we used on those cards. You can see all those fun um, kind of holiday sentiments, right? We have, have a Holly Jolly Christmas on that one. Plus we used different ribbon on each of them too, which was really fun. So they got kind of a, a jingle all the way on that one there. They got a little sample. This one says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then fa la 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 <laughs> with some more fun ribbon. And then a little strip of that be dazzling sparkly paper. The other thing I was going to mention though, was there is another pack. So if, for example, that sparkly bee dazzling paper is already sold out, there is another pack of paper. Did I already flip past it? Let's see. No, I did not. So we have, and it's kind of, I feel like a little bit hidden in our catalog. Um, and I'm going to show you guys a card in just a sec that features some of this paper as well. So if you guys can see right in the corner here, if you have your, this is one of our annual catalogs. So if you have one of our annual catalogs, I'm on page 135. So this is the paper right here that I think would be a good substitute for that sparkly bee dazzling paper. It is called the gold and rose gold specialty paper. It's um, six by six paper also, just like the bee dazzling um, specialty paper is. And <clears throat> excuse me, you get eight sheets also, four sheets in each of the colors. So four gold and four rose gold. Um, and it's $5. So that's a good price for um, eight sheets of that pretty sparkly paper. And like I said, I've got a card I'm going to show you guys in just um, a couple minutes that shows some of that rose gold paper. So again, good substitute. There's gold and rose gold. Um, great, um, just in case you can't get that sparkly specialty um, be dazzling paper any longer, because I just don't know. I wish I, I apologize. I'm going to stop talking about it because um, there. Okay, Susan is, thank you, Susan. Okay, you know what, it's probably in current updates and I didn't even look at that. So yeah, it's sold out. So get this gold and rose gold paper instead. Um, it's beautiful, it's not quite as thick and coarse, but that is maybe a little bit easier to work with too because the other paper was really, really stiff and thick. So, okay, yeah, so all right. Susan, thank you for popping on because I was talking about that earlier and I didn't know for sure. Um, okay, so now we know it's sold out. So things are selling out in the celebration brochure, right? So get what you want while you still can, okay guys? 
Um, all right, I think we are ready to flip the camera down, okay? Yes, and you have the gold and the rose gold too. It's beautiful also, so. Okay, we're gonna flip the camera down. I've got a couple more things I wanna show you guys and then um, we are gonna do our stamping, okay? I keep hearing that dog. I feel like he's like right outside the door or something. He's he's not, but it's he's carrying. Okay, so if I didn't say this already, turn your heads away. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, and this feels like it's I'm gonna fix this just a little bit here before I flip things down. Sorry, we're like wiggling over the place. So let's see what do we got here. Um, ooh, ooh, we have our sunny glare too. I feel like I haven't had to deal with. You know what it is? It's because now um, the sun is like not crooked, but you know what I mean? It's not way up in the sky quite as much. I forget. Like wintertime, I have to start dragging my table around, don't I? So we don't have that glare. There we go. Okay. Good thing I can do that. So I'm so strong, I can just move my table around. <laughs> okay. All right. While I'm getting myself organized, I'm going to give you the host code. This is our September host code, the QPYJB6NZ. Okay. Um, all right. Where are my notes? Oh, okay. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Beautiful um, birthday card from my teammate, Jamie Sanders, sent me this card. And this is what I was talking about. So this is the rose gold. So this is great too, because you can kind of see the difference. So here's the rose gold, but still super sparkly. And then there's a gold that is just like this. So it's not, there's not quite as much texture. This is that be dazzling sparkly paper that is sold out. So beautiful, but you can't get it anymore. So don't love it too much. If you don't have it, get the gold and rose gold paper, and I think it'll work just as well. It's not quite as faceted, but it's still sparkly and beautiful. And look at, I just thought this card was gorgeous. I love, this is some of our designer series paper to the um, Harvest Meadow designer series paper that we're gonna um, play with in just a little bit also. So I just thought it was beautiful. She wrote a little note, so cute. I think she's got like stickies at home. Um, but this is fun too. She's got the little sentiment on the inside. Wishing you a little happiness or a little extra happiness just because you're you. And then she decorated the inside too. I love that too. Just adding that little bit of um, beauty on the inside too. So yeah, the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper too. Isn't, oh, that's one of my favorite patterns too, that paper. Isn't that beautiful, right? Okay, so the other um, birthday card I have to show you guys Um do I want to, no, I want to show you that in just a sec, actually, because I want to show you um, the make and takes, actually, that we made at the customer appreciation event because one of them also featured the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. So this is what I was talking about with these kind of soft, subtle patterns. And I think what threw me was usually um, in fall, you know, we have those really deep, bold, rich colors, and these were not that. So I was like, well, wait a minute, where's my deep, bold, rich paper? Um, which is totally fine, right? But it just took me a little bit of time to kind of warm up to this paper. But this is a great card. I I found this on Pinterest. I cannot, I forgot to write down who I cased this from, so I'm not taking any kind of credit for this card layout. Um, but I loved how she featured this designer series paper, the Harvest Meadow designer series paper. If you were to go to Pinterest and type in Stampin' Up, I always put that in, Stampin' Up, and then whatever I'm looking for. So in this case, I typed in Stampin' Up Harvest Meadow DSP. This card and lots of other great ideas will pop up for you as well. But I like to keep the cards um, pretty simple at the customer appreciation event because the idea is um, they come and they do their stamping and they get to have snacks and treats and I give a little gift to everybody. They can shop from buy one, get one free, but I don't want things to be um, complicated. I don't want anybody stressing out at the customer appreciation event. So I keep the cards simple, um, but I loved, those are the um, blue, um, the blue adhesive back gems, more faceted gems in just the right light. You can see all the sparkliness of those as well, right? So that was one of the cards that we made. And then separately, not um, 
a part of this suite, the Harvest Meadow suite, but this was a holiday card that we made with that Whimsy and Wonder designer series paper. And then again, because I didn't know it was gonna sell out because that's how this happens, right? We used um, the snowflake dies and we cut a snowflake with that Be Dazzling paper, add a little gold gem and then some of that Blushing Bride ribbon as well. So, but again, this golden rose gold paper would be beautiful for sparkly snowflakes as well. So that was the, those were the two um, simple but beautiful make and takes that we made at our customer appreciation event. And then lastly, because I always have to make little treats for everybody and usually sample more than a couple of the um, treats that are inside just to make sure they're okay for everybody, right? So this is a little treat box that I believe um, Erica Sirwin demonstrated like years ago. I found it um, probably on her YouTube channel or something and I have made these so many times over the years, but I love. So it's this super cute little box with this belly band. Right, so this, and so you can obviously, like I think I have, I actually made a YouTube video on how to make these as well. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you're gonna look, scroll down quite a ways, and you're gonna find a Valentine box, a Valentine treat box. And I actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna include the link to that video in the details above this Facebook Live video after we get it posted this afternoon. Um, but you'll be able to see exactly how to make this box. So the belly band, this just slips right off. You can put whatever in terms of decoration on there but I just think this box is like the cutest thing ever. And then it just opens up and then a little York peppermint patty. And let me tell you, like I said, I've sampled a couple of York peppermint patties lately. My stomach <laughs> probably kind of shows that too. Uh, but anyway, I just love this box also because I think it's very professional looking, right? How it just kind of folds up like that. And then you just slip the belly band right back on which normally you just slip it right back on. There you go, right? So I always love, my thought is always to like re-gift, right? So enjoy this little treat and then you can fill it with whatever you like to put back in here. Those little Giardelli chocolate, little chocolate squares fit perfectly in here as well. Um, I use the little Reese's, the two or maybe three or four of those fit in there also. So lots of good ideas to um, add to your little treat box. So, but yeah, that was my little thank you for everybody. Um, locally coming to the customer appreciation event that we'll make and take some of the treat. Um, and we had lots of fun just stamping and chatting and sharing as well. So, okay. All right, I'm gonna scoot these things out of the way. I just love, there's something about that card. Um, I think maybe the dies are on back order, but they're gonna be coming in soon. Oh, and I loved how she used that, the diorama die. I hadn't even really paid that much attention. I think I've been so focused on the sparkly paper and the DSP there, but yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Jamie, that's just a gorgeous card. Okay, so we're scooting that stuff out of the way. I wanna show you guys one more quick reminder I'm gonna give you about my latest class to go featuring the Sweet Stockings Designer Series paper. This um, class to go is still available to order um, let's see, RSVPs are due by next Friday. So one week from today, RSVPs for this class to go. You guys know we always make four cards. We do two of each of them. I give you um, all the parts and pieces. I cut everything. I do a PDF tutorial that tells you. And literally like how I do that PDF tutorial is I'll make the card and as I'm making it, I'm literally like typing up, okay, um, you know, cut the um, card stock, um, you know, the um, for your card base, I guess I'll say. Um, cut that, um, score it, cut the designer series paper, and I literally, as I'm doing it, I'm writing it so you know exactly like the step-by-step -step on how to put this card together as well. Um, so if you just get the PDF tutorial, you've got that also, okay? So, Sweet Little Stockings class to go. If you want option number one, it includes the bundle, so you get all of the dies and the stamp set. You get a full package of the matte decorative dots. You get a full bolt of the pool party striped ribbon, and you get a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper that you'll use to make your cards. You also get a free celebration choice right now. Um, everything except the um, the gold sparkly bee dazzling designer series paper. And actually the 
12 by 12 DSP. I, I generally say don't get that because you have to pay extra shipping for that. So pick a different $50 celebration item. You actually get the designer series paper for free too in option number one, okay? So option number one is $84. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, um, you don't need, you know, you've already got those. You need them to do your stamping and your die cutting. So make sure you have them if you don't already, right? But option number two includes the matte dots, the ribbon, the quarter pack of DSP, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those cards. Um, option number two is $32. You also get the PDF tutorial for sure in option number two. Both of those ship for an additional $9 priority mail shipping if you need it shipped to you. Then option number three is just the PDF tutorial. That one's the one that's always available. All of my past PDFs are available. So if you have a stamp set even from a couple years ago that you're looking for ideas, I might have a PDF tutorial on it. Those are always available, like I said, for $15. My downline gets those PDF tutorials for free. So another great reason to get the starter kit, become an Inkspired Stamper and get um, that PDF tutorial for free. And then as well, lastly, option number four is also for my downline. They can get all the parts and pieces. I give them the designer series paper, the ribbon, the matte dots. Um, they use their own stamp set and dies. Why wouldn't they? Because they wanna get their discount on um, that product. It's just $12 for the make and takes for two of each of those cards. Okay, so again, RSVPs are due next Friday, September 24th. So if you have any questions, let me know. I will include the link um, to the details and to sign up. Um, and I can always send you PayPal invoice too if that's easier for you for that class to go. Okay, whew, I am talking a mile a minute now still as always, right? Okay, mm, I think we are ready. We're ready to do our stamping, ladies. Okay, so this was the other card I wanted to show you guys. Um, Sharon Greening, who what is is or was watching, I'm not sure if she's still on, but gave me this birthday card. And I love, isn't this so cute? So the fun thing is, again, it shows the front and back of the designer series paper, right? So it's a great way to feature. Plus, I think that is just such a cute, like, fun fold, right? Now, she did tell me um, she loves YouTube. She loves to spend a lot of time on YouTube watching videos, but she's actually also really good, not just sitting and watching, but she makes them, too. So my point in saying that is she told me... Um, and now I can't, oh, did she say it was either Lisa Curcio or Connie Stewart is where she found this card. So I'm not, um, I just want to make sure I'm not, I don't want you guys to think I'm trying to take credit for the design. Sharon made this card for me based off of the YouTube video from, again, either Connie Stewart or Lisa Curcio. And I'm going to make a card just like this for you guys as well, because I thought it was just so pretty. And I thought it was a great way to feature our designer series paper as well, the Harvest, why am I having the Harvest Meadow? So this is the card that I created based on um, the birthday card that Sharon gave me. Again, featuring, right, we've got the Celebrate You and Love You. So it features the Harvest Meadow front and back of the designer series paper, and then our super cute Create with Friends stamp set. So here's the Celebrate and the You and the Love You that we used on there. Okay, so we are going to, I'm gonna um, actually show you how to, cut the designer series paper so that you can make this card as well. Okay, so let me grab my paper trimmer. Um, I need my grid paper though too. I'm sure I'm gonna have to be measuring something at some point. Okay, here, all of a sudden I'm like, okay, trying to get organized again. <laughs> as usual. All right, so let's get serious now, right, ladies? Not that we weren't serious before. Are we ready to actually show that? Um, <laughs> kind of like moving everything around, but I think, yeah, let's just do, we're going to do the designer series paper and then I'll pull everything else out because I, I was going to pull it out and then I'm like, then it's just going to be in the way. So, okay, we start with, this is a piece of, again, the Harvest meadow designer series paper okay so there's the front there's the back however you want to think about that this piece of dsp measures 12 inch so it's a full 12 inch across and then five and a quarter tall okay you are going to let's see i'm going to scoot this one up out of the way here we're first going to score our designer series paper and i'm thinking maybe i might need some glasses so i'm going to grab those um and a pen too Okay. All right. So here is our 
um, five and a quarter by 12 inch designer series paper, okay? So we are going to score this at, oops, I'm gonna flip this open here too. There, so you guys can, oops, you can't really see, can you? Here, now we're in view. Sorry, I don't know if that was wiggling a bunch. Okay, so we're gonna score it at, um, this is a score, yep. <laughs> it, I used to have it labeled, maybe it was on my old one. And don't press too hard when you're scoring the designer series paper. If you press really hard, you're gonna rip right through it. So you just wanna kinda go nice and easy. So we're gonna do it at two inches. We're gonna do it again at four inches. And we're gonna do it at eight inches. But you do need to press hard enough that you see it, because you are gonna use these score marks. Um, to do that angle cutting and then a 10 inch. So two, four, eight, and 10. And I will include all of like the step-by-step -step on how to do this on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I'll get that uploaded this afternoon, okay? Now we are going to cut from, I'm trying to see which side. We're gonna fold just a little bit here because I wanna be able to see, isn't that funny now? I <laughs> Can I see what I'm doing? Did this even? It's funny because I don't I don't like to press too hard. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time and I'm gonna press a little bit harder because um, I feel like I can't even quite see it. I just don't wanna rip it. Although, whatever, I guess if I do, I'll just go get some more paper. Two, four, in case you missed that, right? Eight, eight, and 10. Okay. It was like I couldn't feel the folds before, but there we go. Um, I think I just need to lay it down. That's my problem, okay. Right, what the heck? Sorry, ladies, this isn't really, it's really not that complicated. There should be the four inch. What is my problem? It's like it's not scoring enough. Okay, I'm gonna go one more time. A lot of times I'll use my other, um, I wanted to have this though because I need to be able to um, cut for you guys too. There we go. Okay. Doodle there. Now I can see them. It was like I couldn't get the um, light shining very well there. Okay, but this one needs to come back this way. And then this one. There we go. Whoo, man. Like a moment there. Okay, so that's how. That's gonna go, okay? <laughs> okay, we got that, right? So now what we are going to do is we're gonna line this up. So make sure you have a good scoring plate or tool. <laughs> That'd be my first um, comment on that. Okay, so we are now going to go from the four inch score mark and we're gonna cut it down over here to, let me make sure, check, check my notes here, two and three quarters. So I'm gonna make just a little mark right there at the two and three quarter inch mark, okay? So then I'm gonna grab my cutter and I'm basically going to line this up. Oops, so we're gonna go with our, there. It's like I almost need to put my finger on it, right? We're gonna go from here, yeah down to, I'm trying to keep my finger, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go from our four inch score mark down to that little two and three quarter inch mark that I just made, okay? I'm basically gonna just cut that off, all right? And then we're gonna do the same thing back over here on this side. Again, we're gonna go down to two and three quarters, right there, okay? So same idea, pop this in here. Okay, we've got, I, don't, I just like to put my finger there. I think that helps me. <laughs> keep it along the little track because you can't line it up, obviously, right? So you just keep turning it until you get your little mark in the track there also, okay? Flip that down and we're gonna cut that off, okay? So there, isn't that cool, right? So I made that probably seem a lot more difficult than it is because it's really not. <laughs> okay. So now we can pull everything else out and I'll tell you how to make this card. Okay, so the card base is actually just this piece of Calypso Coral cardstock. 
that measures the four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. Ah, thank you. Sharon is saying her card was from Connie Stewart at Simple Stamping. Okay, thank you very much for sharing that. Sharon, sharing that Sharon, haha. -ha. <laughs> All right, so then this piece of Whisper White cardstock goes on the inside. This one is three and three quarters by three and three quarters, okay? So that's just gonna lay right in there. And then we just have another piece of basic white cardstock that we're gonna do our um, stamping. Simply simple stamping, okay. That's Connie's blog or probably YouTube channel. Her, her um, brand name is Simply Simple Stamping. Okay, thank you, Sharon, I appreciate that. Now we know, Connie Stewart's card, Simply Simple Stamping. Okay, so let's see. I think we are ready. We're gonna do some stamping now. Okay, ladies, <laughs> sorry. I'm like, I'm still back on, why couldn't I score that darn thing? That was really embarrassing for me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, um, here we go. We have our Misty Moonlight and Calypso Coral. And I used Night of Navy actually back on, um, I think you can kind of, well, I didn't actually use any, um, Misty Moonlight cardstock on this one, but I think either one works, right? I think you can use either um, Night of Navy, that was the ink that I used, and then the cardstock, and then this one we're gonna use Misty Moonlight. So it looks pretty similar. It's maybe a little bit dustier blue, um, the Misty Moonlight is, than the Night of Navy, but I think either one works perfectly. Okay, so we're gonna start with our Calypso Coral, and we're gonna stamp our Celebrate. You guys know, right? Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down and lift straight up. And then we're gonna also do our love. So that goes on the inside right here. You guys can see that, right? So we're gonna do, did I say this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters? If I didn't, it is, okay? So we're gonna do love right there. And then we're gonna do our U's, okay? So in our Misty Moonlight, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna do U right there. And there's something for me about using my index finger on the clear black. I think that helps me kind of guide it um, and stamp better for some reason, okay? So there we go. Celebrate you and love you. Um, <laughs> Yes, Brenda, that is exactly it. She commented, it didn't want to score because you're live. It works every other time otherwise. Yes, okay, you get it, thank you. I was like, okay, I'm really, I mean, I'm not even a real blonde, okay? That's the like, <laughs> that's the ridiculous part about this. But yes, that is, that's it, you're right. Any other time when I'm not live, oh, it's so simple and easy, but it had to look super complicated. <laughs> All right, thank you for understanding and, and clarifying that for others who are like, what the heck is her problem anyway? <laughs> All right, so here we go. With my um, die cutting and embossing machine that yes, Miss K, you can get this for 20% off. When, once you've gotten the starter kit, you can get anything you want at 20% off. Okay, here we go. I'm like getting, I'm, I'm getting loopy now, you guys. Okay, so what are these dies called? These are the seasonal label dies. I've said this probably every week. I think I probably use these every week. If you don't have these dies yet, um, where's the one that I want? <laughs> okay, um, did I use it on something else? Okay, where is it? Oh, you guys. This is craziness. Okay, so here are all the dies, right? You don't see it there, do you? I usually will pull it out. It's this one. I want that one right there. But that's the smaller version of it, right? Okay, maybe it's stuck in here somewhere because that's the really big one. Did it get? Okay. Huh. <laughs> so usually I put it in the back here. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't think I pulled it out already, did I? Well, maybe we'll have to use a different one. I wonder, well, that, that won't even quite fit on there, will it? Hmm. Well, okay, you guys are gonna, I'm gonna find it. It's, again, because I'm live, um, I can't find it right now. But this is the idea, right? I would cut that out, just like that, right? When I find that label die, I'm gonna do that because there's one more missing label die. I'll find it, I'll find it. It'll, yeah, it'll show up probably as soon as I, Turn the camera off. I don't 
don't think it's in the other one. I've got two tubs, but I don't think I see it in there. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. Okay, so, all right, pretend I did that. Pretend I die cut. This is like, this is going south fast, isn't it, ladies? <laughs> oh, well. All right, we're just going to keep plugging along. I do have, um, no, why do I not have adhesive? Okay, this is the last um, moment here. I'm going to go grab adhesive. I'll be right back. It just doesn't appear that way right now. Okay, so we are going to use our stamp and seal, and I want to make sure I'm going to kind of, um, I want to make sure I can see those score marks that I can't see very well. And you guys know, right now we have to tip that all the way back, and I'm going to run it all the way around. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and that'll be the next thing. I'll put like the um, adhesive on the wrong side or something. Okay, so this just fits. So you guys see how simple this is? This just fits right on there, and then we're gonna use this one. So again, you guys know this, right? You gotta tip it back. I have generally, you know, there's still moments when I don't get it quite right, but I have not had to advance my um, seal like I normally had been. So there's that idea, right? So lastly, we are gonna use, and I love, so this is um, this metallic mesh ribbon that was in our holiday catalog last year, part of the Halloween suite, because it kind of looks like spider webs or cobs webs or something. Um, Anyway, I think it's just so cool. I'm realizing I'm at the end of my bolt, so I had to order some more already because I think it's so pretty. Um, just that kind of gauzy, um, I don't know, there's just something so pretty about it that I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be just beautiful when we put it on that card right there. Okay, so we're just going to trim this down a little bit. And I remembered my glue dots, so I'm very happy about that. See, okay, I got... I did one thing, I feel like I did one thing right and about 14 things wrong today. So that is apparently how that's going to go. Okay, so then that just goes right there. And then if I could ever find that die, which like I said, I will, then we would put this celebrate you right on the front. And then can you see, we use some of the beautiful blue adhesive backed sparkly gems there as well. So celebrate you, love you. And we'll find that. I'll finish this up, I promise. By the time you order <laughs> and I um, make these cards to send out as thank yous, I will have that die. I promise. Okay. All right. So there's card number one, again, featuring that Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go pass out after this. <laughs> or maybe cry. I don't know. One of the two. <laughs> okay. So more fun fold cards. Julie, if you are watching at some point, um, I have to show this card that Julie, one, another member of my Inspired Stampers, Julie Wilmot, gave me this card last year, I think. And she was asking, do you still have that card? Because she wanted to display it um, at a place that she does lots of crafting. And I was like, oh, yeah, but I, I want to make a card first. And she's like, well, okay, just go ahead and get a card made because she wanted to borrow this back. So finally, Julie, I'm going to be able to give this card back to you because I made one myself. So here's the idea. And maybe, I don't know if this is called a bridge fold. Um, you guys are so good with the lingo, right? So maybe somebody will look that up and tell me, or they already know, right? But I just thought it was so cute. So this is the card that Julie gave me. And then this is my version again, featuring that Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper, the Create with Friends stamp set. And then actually the diorama dies were kind of fun um, on that one there too. Okay. Let's see. Let me get that stuff out of the way, right? Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Those are the notes for this one. Okay, okay. All right, I think I can just get everything out here. Although, no, we're going to have to do this one too. Okay. Try not to get everything too in the way. So let's see how the scoring works. I'm like really scared now, you guys. <laughs> Philomena, thank you for sharing. Um, you'll have to watch the replay. Well, 
Pardon my moments of ditzy blondness, okay? I'll just forewarn you <laughs> right now, okay? Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me, I gotta have my notes here in front of me, right? Okay, so this is a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by eight inches. This is um, crumb cake cardstock, okay? So we are going to score this, and I'm gonna press a little bit harder <laughs> this time, and hopefully that will help, right? Okay, so we're gonna score it at one maybe it's like it's not you know what that maybe that was my problem was it not in there all the way? I don't know okay so there we go at one and a quarter we're gonna score it at two and a half and I need to actually open this again are you guys seeing this I've been like so determined to not <laughs> screw up my scoring that I didn't look to see if you guys could see. Okay, you can see now, right? At five and a half, we're gonna do this. Again, I'll put all the notes, all of the measurements on my blog this afternoon, and then six and three quarters. So one and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarters, okay? That's all you need to do to score this little panel. The other thing that I should have mentioned too that's really cool is this card, if you can see, when it folds down like this, fits in an envelope perfectly. It measures four and a quarter by five and a half. I'll even prove that here, right? Four and a quarter by five and a half. So it fits perfectly. It's like the exact same size of a regular card base, okay? Actually, let's not move that too far so that I know what I'm doing. So same idea kind of as that designer series paper where you just fold this in and then fold the flap back, right? So. There's kind of your card base, isn't that cool? Now if you're like, well, where do you write on this card? You can just write on the back. You could put a little piece of basic white cardstock and then just write right on the back here too. Um, and it's just so cute. I think it's like a perfect card to kind of stand, right? And let people admire. You could even put um, pictures in here too. That'd be kind of fun. You could put like a couple little pictures right there. It'd be like a cute little um, gifty kind of thing also. Okay, so there's that piece. Next, we have, this is the strip that goes across the front here, crumb cake cardstock that measures one and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then the beautiful, I love, this is like one of my favorite patterns of that designer series paper, right? There's the back side. Oh, and that's what my problem is. I love that one and I love that one too. So it's been hard to pick. Which side do I want to use? But this designer series paper measures one inch by five and a quarter inches. Okay, so that's going to go right on there like that. And then we have panels of designer series paper that go here. There's one here and there are two right there. So the one in the middle measures two and three quarters by four inches. And then you have four of these panels that all measure one inch by four inches. So that goes there and there and there and there. Okay. Now the one thing that I would suggest is trying to keep this, and it's not really a big deal, but I kind of liked... You see how that is the paper um, before it was cut? So I wanna try to, <laughs> you think that's even possible for me today? I wanna keep it so that it all flows nicely. I always remember my mom kind of um, talking about that with sewing, you know, that um, the patterns, once you cut the, um, oh, and I didn't flip that very well, did I? Once you cut the, what's that called, fabric? <laughs> that you want to keep the patterns together, if that makes sense, right? So they flow nicely. So we, I tried to do that here. Okay, so we're going to, again, I don't want to mess anything up because it's very possible today. Okay, so this one is going to go right there. Then we're going to put this one right inside here. Okay, so you can see we're just leaving like a little... Um, Kind of a quarter of an inch. I'm not sure if I pressed firmly on that last one. It looks like it was wiggling. Put that one right there and that one right there. And then we're going to do one more right inside there. Okay. Then I'm going to add some more. Okay. You see how I'm tipping back? Like I said, generally I do that and it works well. And then this one is going to go right on the inside right there. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and put some more adhesive on this. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I love, it kind of looks like um, Spanish tiles too, doesn't it? Or like Mexican tiles. Oh, it makes me want to go to Spain or Mexico. I don't need to yet because it's still nice, but 
<laughs> soon enough, I'll be like, can someone just whisk me away to the beach, please? Somewhere warm, tropical. Okay, so that's gonna go on there. And then this one, the easiest way to do it is fold that in and then it'll adhere right there. So we are gonna flip this back. We are going to add a strip of adhesive right there. Okay, so then just fold that in and then that should, and again, that's how that's gonna fold down to go into your card, but then it stands up just like that, okay? So lastly, we are gonna do our stamping with our crumb cake ink, okay? We've got our friends forever. I really wanted it to say forever friends, um, but I kept trying to put the forever up here and I couldn't find a good place for it. So. I was like, okay, we're gonna be friends forever instead of forever friends, which it's all, right? It basically means the same thing, but I liked how that forever fit underneath. I couldn't find a good spot. So if you guys find one, share it with me and let me see it because <laughs> it wasn't happening for me. Okay, so now we are gonna die cut this and I'm gonna hope and pray that I have, I think I do, yes. This is what I was trying to show before, right? So these are the diorama dies, and usually I'm so good, and I put the one I wanna use right back in here, and I don't know, I feel like maybe I used that other die somewhere else, and I <laughs> forgot to put it back in there for today. That's the problem, you know, when you're trying to prep for more than one thing at a time, um, you start pulling stuff apart, and then I forgot to make myself a note that I needed to put that die back in, apparently. Okay, but I'm over it now. Hopefully you guys are too. <laughs> okay, and then I'll show you. We've got the leaf dies also. Okay, so yep, you guys can all see. Okay, oops, we're going to put that one. So that's going to go there. And then I also used my most favorite. These were um, leaf dies that we had in last year's holiday catalog. They are great. I'm not sure if you're talking which ones. They're both great, aren't they, though, Philomena? The diorama dies are kind of fun dies. And then the leaf with the patterns, too. So again, because I'm really good at this, I put the ones I wanted to use in there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lay these down on some crumb cake cardstock. Let's see, scoop this one. Do I have enough room? I think I did give myself more. Let's grab this other piece. I think this one, because today <laughs> you never know what can happen. All right, so we've got that one. We've got that one, okay. All right, so this one goes right on there and that one goes there. So that's what you could just do the outlines, but I love the little stitching and detail that those inside dies create. And then that's gonna go there and my top. Okay, all right, we are ready. <laughs> okay, good, Philomena, good answer. She says, yes, both of those dies are great. And <laughs> Susan, thank you. I'm glad you think I have great ideas. Right now, I'm not so sure, but thank you. You're very sweet. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. So I have to show you guys these. Oops, did that one not? So this is what I was talking about. You could just have like the leaf outline. There we go, right? But I love the little stitching that these create in here also. And then there's, oops, I'm like too busy looking at it myself. And can you see guys? No, now you can see. There we go, right? Okay, so scoot those out of the way. Okay, here we go. I think we are ready to kind of complete our card here, okay? So I'm gonna grab, put a couple of dimensionals behind my Friends Forever sentiment, put those right there. And then I love to use my little silicone mat here to add adhesive to anything that's tiny, right? So that I don't get adhesive all over my grid paper, kind of all over my work surface, right? There we go, okay. So we're gonna put this one right about there. We're gonna add that one. You guys see what I'm doing right there, right? We're gonna pop or peel the dimensionals off. And I'm gonna put that right in there, right? Now we are almost done, you guys. You know, then you have to add a little texture, right? Cause that's kind of flat and simple, but isn't it fun? Like just look at those couple of little touches, add a little twine and a couple of the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. These are beautiful, kind of in a gold, a bronze, and maybe a pewter, 
I'm going to say. I don't even know if they tell us. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, but they've got some larger and smaller in each of those colors. Oops, there. Can you guys see that better? That, that glare wasn't so good, right? Okay, so let's add a couple of these. I kind of went, I liked the um, copper. I was trying to decide when I was, um, you know, holding this up. Like gold didn't seem quite right. The pewter didn't seem quite right. So I went with the copper and I'm happy with my choice there. And these are also, just so you guys know, these, this is the embellishment, the free embellishment that you can pick with a $50 order are those brushed metallic dots right there. Okay, so lastly, we have our Baker's Twine. They are calling this the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. So we've got a bunch of different colors. And I could have used white, but I kind of, this card feels like kind of a creamy vanilla would work really well with it also. So we're gonna go with the creamy vanilla and I'm gonna use a double strand right here, okay? So I basically just doubled that over and then I'm gonna act like I've got one, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see, ladies. I think I wanna give myself a little bit longer. There we go, this will be the idea, right? So we're gonna just make a bow with our two strands acting like we have one strand of twine. Hopefully that was the <laughs> that was the deal. Hopefully that's how this works, right? Cut that one, cut that one, and my little mini glue dots. Grab that and see just adding that little bit of texture, what that does for your card, right? <laughs> Nikki, thank you. Okay, I know. <laughs> it was definitely one of those days, wasn't it? You guys are all so sweet so, and so gracious, and I appreciate all of you so very much. So <laughs> thank you. I don't, if you guys haven't seen your comment, she's saying, we've all had crafting days like today. We just aren't on camera. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And Nancy, hello. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, well, so this was like a comedy hour at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, if you weren't aware. I'm only going to pull out the one card that has the full sentiment on it, right? Okay, so here we go, ladies. Uh, yes. Okay. So maybe next time on Facebook Live, I'll have it more together. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? All right. But so just in case anyone's not aware at this point, right? Put a minimum $30 order in and you're going to get both of these fabulous cards, one of each of them. Can you guys see them? <laughs> As a thank you from me for your order. Make sure you use the host code, the QPYJB6NZ. You also, if you bump your order up right to $50, you get to pick a free celebration choice for just a couple more weeks and then you also get to pick from my thank you to you the demo design dream team pdf tutorial or the brushed metallic adhesive back dots that we just used on that little friends forever card there okay so shoo <laughs> i'm gonna go cry now for a few minutes okay ladies <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me and um putting up with me um i promise i'll have all the proper details on my um blog this afternoon. All right. Thanks guys. Thanks for all your thumbs up and hearts. And I appreciate you all so much. And yeah, the cards are beautiful, right? Once you finally figure out how to make them. So <laughs> thank you. Bye guys. Have a great weekend.